All right, for folks who are watching you locally, um, this video is uh, going to show handling the terrorism crisis. Uh, I have not recorded any of this playthrough up to this point. This is uh, being live broadcasted on Beam right now. I have put over 40 hours into this game, uh, but if there's one thing that's eluded me, it's encountering the Basenji Liberation Front in a non-endless situation. I've only seen the event Terrorism Crisis one time, uh, and that was in endless mode. A few days ago, I watched one of my friends, SKS, SKS Plays, like broadcast the game for the first time, uh, and he immediately encountered the Terrorism Crisis. And that annoyed me <laughs> considerably. And so a few days later, I'm I'm going through like some health issues right now with my throat, so I decided to stress test it. Uh, I decided I would just go ahead and, like, I encountered the terrorism crisis. Uh, we just started the event. Uh, it's the turn after the bombing. Uh, Tariq came in and talked a little bit about it. Um, the terrorism crisis uh, involves basically just rooting out the Basenji Liberation Front, which wants to bring democracy into Basenji immediately and just sweep the temporary government out of power uh, and dealing with it. Uh, not doing so within the allotted time, my understanding is a game over. Uh, from the limited information available on the internet, this event apparently gives a lot of players problems. Uh, whenever I encountered an endless mode, I didn't have any trouble with it. Um, as a, a sort of like related note to a crisis, uh, whenever I did a run of this earlier today, uh, in the morning, um, I encountered the epidemic crisis. I've never had that fail before, so I let it fail. It was pretty much like Plague Incorporated or Pandemic. Uh, Basenji ceased existing as a nation because everyone got sick and died. And then it wasn't the first uh, nation to stop existing and disappear. And that was pretty fun. In a morbid way. <laughs> Just content I hadn't seen before. As a result, I made a backup copy of this save. I'm going to go through this successfully, I presume. And then go through it failing because, I mean, this might just end up being the last time I play this game. A recap of the current government situation. It's turn 32, and we're pretty damn stable here. Uh, Policies-wise, um, we are slanted uh, toward an industry-focused society, which is upsetting liberals. And we also have immense bread lines. But other than that, we're doing great. Now, the reason why there's such bread lines in our country is because I run my tax rates really damn high. <laughs> um, the latest patching... Uh, from the folks responsible for Rogue State uh, makes it harder to run at 50%, so I oscillate like around 40-45%, uh, but I cranked it up about. Also, currently running uh, State Intelligence Services at $35 million per turn. Uh, 30 million is the minimum requirement to satisfy this objective here. We're going to go a little bit overboard. Hey there, Pope. Parliamentary Advisor, who cares about him? Infrastructure-wise, we've got a lot in place right now. Uh, we have the counterterrorism unit, of course. Uh, we have basically most of the essentials. I'm just picking through things. We also have a counterfeit operation that we're running, uh, which, of course, uh, severely degrades your relationship with the United States, uh, but makes you $40 million per turn, which offsets the $15 million you're wasting in upkeep for this stuff. We also have a global shipping giant. Advisors, regional map-wise, we have okay relations with everyone. Except for the United States. Uh, but I do have nuclear arsenal, so uh, they will not invade me. They will end your game. I've seen that happen before. It was a rare loss for me in playing this game. So, cabinet-wise, uh, we've got a defense minister a foreign minister, a communications minister, and Farouk as the intelligence minister. And we're doing fairly all right with them. So yeah, we're in a pretty solid position right now. Let's go ahead and explore this terrorism crisis front, both as a success and a failure. I have gobs of cash, so I don't expect to have a problem with this. Hell, I even have a bunch of money thrown in my Swiss bank account, because why the hell not? How you doing today, by the way, Poke? Military-wise... We'll just have to construct a few more military units. We have everything, like, centrally capped, but that's okay. And we'll see where exactly this terrorist organization is. I'll even go ahead and buy a tank brigade for funsies. And we'll start banking up loyalty points. We'll save more, just in case the, um, 
the terrorist outfit is in Zarbal. Uh, they're my trade partner, and I don't want to break those trades just to destroy the BLF. I don't really see anything that I need to do with my turn. Oh, secret project-wise, uh, we've just recently constructed the Great Firewall. And of course, we already have access to weapons of mass destruction. Conscription event. Um, considering the fact that we are likely to go to war soon, I will go ahead and accept this. I'll get plus three infantry units that will cut a bit into my income, but oh well. Hello, General. Excellency, we have information on the Besengi Liberation Front. Go ahead. Our CTU has captured a suspected member of this terrorist group. Regrettably, the suspect did not survive our interrogation process. Before the suspect expired, we learned that this radical organization is set to force democracy on our people at any cost. They are operating out of a neighboring state. We do not know which one. When we do find out, we will we'll probably have to attack their borders. Or alternatively, get the offending state to turn the terrorist over to us. The longer we take to find out where they are operating from, the more likely it is that another attack will occur. Until they are found, we should invest in counter-terrorism capacity and devote resources to intelligence collection. Thank you, General Adar. Okay. There is a train approaching, by the way. Yeah, yeah, Tetsani, that is, uh, that was, that was pretty tragic. That was a pretty damn tragic loss. I swear that Russia had my back. I was reading the patch notes. How did Russia not have my back? Yeah, I, um, United States invaded me and just completely fucking took me over. It was sad. I'm like, you guys built a military base, Russia and everything. How could you betray me? <laughs> okay, so we don't know where the BLF is yet, uh, but that's continuing to advance along nicely. I'm going to go ahead and lower taxes a bit here. Uh, they will respect my 5% lowering. We have gobs of money, and through the power of printing currency, we can print even more. And because we have a nuclear arsenal, the United States will not invade us. This is certainly, uh, the terrorism crisis is definitely an issue you can deal with without any special perks or experience invested. I saw SKS on his very first playthrough without any prior knowledge of the game go through it. You don't have to have everything in the game like I do. But, uh, unstable elements uh, scenario did make, you know, mowing through this game to get to this moment easier. Speaking of mowing through, let's just start drilling through some turns. Well, we could have just negotiated with them instead of losing approval with everyone, but that's how it goes. I have just received word from the Ministry of Intelligence. They appear to have identified where the Wow, that was quick. That's definitely not six turns. Also, train. When you are ready, our troops are prepared to attack their camp. Or, alternatively, you may wish to approach this diplomatically. was a, an, an interestingly timed random event where uh, a terrorist outfit had taken several Karifis hostage. We sent in the counterterrorism unit, uh, and several of the hostages were unfortunately killed, which lowered my approval uh, across the board with factions, plus Karifi support. The Patriots actually aren't that damn much of a fan of me currently. But that's okay. I don't have any cards left to spend. What's this task that you gave me? Work with the American ambassador to arrange a visit from the President of the United States before turn 42. That is impossible. I cannot communicate with the American ambassador. Okay. I can communicate. Let me show you how the conversation goes. Good day, ambassador. Would you be free to meet sometime in the next few weeks? With their newly developed nuclear arsenal, you have shredded international law, and Basenji has jeered at the very idea of an international community. In response... The United States will be severing our diplomatic relationship 
until you renounce these weapons of mass destruction. So, that's a no on arranging a visit from the President of the United States. Thanks, Minister. Real bro. Really looking out for me. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and check our intel. Ooh. It's you, Boethia. Yes, Fluffy. Boethia is holding the Basenji Liberation Front, uh, and they do not appear to be aware of the BLF. Hey, Boethia! Thank you. I know you really dislike me. We are not afraid of your weapons of mass destruction. What do you want? I don't think so, Tetsani, no. I haven't even bothered talking to them. I could tell them a joke. What's the best part about living in Switzerland? Not sure, but the flag is a big plus. We demand that you hand the Basenji Liberation Front cell operating in your country over to us. There is no terrorist cell in Boethia. We would never allow extremists to operate within our borders. We are very worried about Western imperialism. We are glad to see you are not afraid. We will stand with you as brothers and sisters in the fight against tyranny. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. Yeah, so that was much quicker than I expected to get the information. Perhaps because it was I, I was overpaying a little. I'm also glad that Farouk did not sabotage that. Uh, Farouk is my brother. Uh, he is in charge of the intelligence ministry, and he reduces the likelihood of intelligence breakthroughs. Uh, he cannot be ousted from power. Uh, he is a uh, a handicap that is imposed upon you by the nature of the People's Revolution and how it came about. He, uh, he is displeased. He wanted to be Glorious Leader. Uh, he was immensely popular during the People's Revolution, which overthrew the monarchist regime of the Sinji, and installed this temporary transitional government to hold everything together until the people were ready for free elections. Um, Farouk, uh, with my last name, which was a joke from a song we were listening to at the time. <laughs> um, he is very upset about it, and he had to be put in power somewhere. Uh, and he uh, is a hindrance wherever you put him in power. Uh, he effectively is the end-game boss of uh, Rogue State, as it were. Anyway, we know that uh, those wonderful, wonderful happy people who are ready to die are in Boethia. So we're actually gonna buy a few things. Pick some stuff up at the store. I got I got plenty of money to throw around, so what the hell, right? What the hell? Actually, because I feel like dying. Well, I don't feel like dying. I feel like having a bit more fun. Let's buy the Cyber Warfare Command. A 33% chance of doubling unit attack strength with invading another country. Actually, I'm kind of out of time. I'll buy that next turn. Let's move everything to the Boethian border and we'll declare war. Next turn. I know casually declares war. No big deal. <laughs> How you doing today, Poke? How's it going? How are the kids? How's life treating you? Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate you your compliments. Your recognition of my greatness. Yeah, fine. We'll commit budget surplus to new schools, sure. Alright. Working conditions are very poor. Nah, they'll get over it. We could probably cut funding. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rip money. <laughs> it's okay. We'll just print more money. There we go. The accounting numbers just kind of got screwed up there a little bit. This game has some accounting trouble sometimes. We'll buy our Cyber Warfare Command. And let me go ahead and see if I can offend Boethia. 
because an unprovoked uh, act of aggression costs quite a number of loyalty points. So let me see if I can just say a bunch of things that will offend them. Like... While we may glorify the old ways, we must not fall victim to the trap of institutionalizing it into the state. We cannot completely abandon the teaching of the elders. We must bring the children of our country together by preserving the old ways and the new. We believe the United Nations is essential to preventing conflicts in our region. The United Nations has failed to prevent regional conflicts to date. Tell me, what do you foresee changing in the future? We demand that there is no... That probably actually won't lower my relationship with them enough. Yeah, even if I wait like a turn and like pester them again. Hey guys! What if I call you back again to annoy you? Hey. Hey. Thank you for Any more issues? Yay! It is our responsibility to govern in the strictest traditions of the old ways and to protect the people from heretical philosophies. We do follow the teachings of the old way, but it is ignorant to believe alienating non-believers will advance the state of our country. I don't want to deepen the long-standing cooperation. We must work together to counter extremism both within and outside our borders. While the nation of Boethia understands your concerns, this is not a priority for our state at this time. All right. We are interested in jointly funding, <clears throat> with the United States, development projects in your country. The Shinshi dollars place in American hands to manage projects to undermine my government? <laughs> Give me the terrorists. We demand there is no <laughs> And the relationship with them is non existent. I don't know whether I'm gonna have to wait a turn on this one. But I tanked my relationship with them. Alright, good. This would uh depending on the relationship with you cost you like ten or maybe even twenty five loyalty points. But I trash a relationship by saying things that they disagreed with. And this warrants an invasion of Boethia, which should be damn successful. Have a nice day. Excellency, the World Bank has offered us a loan. I'm good, but thanks. Oh, speech time. The speech doesn't really matter. Uh... I'll just blow through the speech. I say as I end up picking up some things. Yeah. Didn't really care. I've already insulted the American pig dogs and vowed to uphold the old ways. Hi. Refugees on forces have raided a small compound on the other side of the border. All remaining members of the Besenji Liberation Front are reported to have been killed. The threat to the Besenji posted by the terrorists is over. Unfortunately, our neighbor is outraged over the breach of their sovereignty and has mobilized troops for a proportional response. The siege. Da -da. That would be the final achievement I had missing. For rogue like a uh, rogue state, excuse me. Good. And that is how we dealt with the terrorist crisis, everyone. Pretty easy, wasn't it? We did. We I do have quite a bit of understanding about this damn game. I mean, it's something that I had seen before and done before, but it was only in endless mode, so I didn't get the achievement for it because achievements were disabled. I'm going to go ahead and swap Boethia down another time or two for a military victory, and then we're actually going to roll back the saves uh, so that we can actually see what it's like to fail that event. Because uh, I've never seen that before, and I'm curious for it. There's probably a few events and, like, failures and things that I've not explored in the game, like really tanking military approval... Encountering this mythical situation where you can hold on to power for yourself indefinitely. Uh, but, uh, 
just want to see a few more things before I uh, put this game back down again. We'll have a regular calling of them. Lost five units. Wow. Okay. This war benefits nobody. We propose an armistice to end the pointless bloodshed. We expect you to pay for the damage you caused. We are willing to pay you 40 million at once if you agree to an armistice. Now, there's still a bug in the game. Uh, this one was something that we explored a few months ago on livestream. And it's archived. One of my YouTube videos. Uh, this was something that has existed in the game. Uh, where, uh, as part of a peace deal, uh, the opposing nation may offer to buy one of your buildings for free. Basically, like the next purchase you make will be free. Uh, however, this bug basically makes all of your building purchases free. Obviously, you still have to pay upkeep for them, but they'll cover the price of everything. So you can end up saving several hundred million dollars in that fashion. Very well, we accept. May we achieve lasting peace once and for all. Not really worth it, but I don't really consider war to be worthwhile in this game. We didn't even get a medal awarded for our wonderful actions and deeds. Oh well, such is life. Little Red Dog Games. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let me go ahead and roll the saves back now. Oh, that actually should not be displaying. Well, it is displaying. <laughs> Let me... So that we can see what it's like to fail that event. I know, you saw... You saw too much. I think uh, OBS... The, the new version 18 does a few things that I'm not used to it doing. Like immediately transitioning to revealing that stuff whenever I close the game, and I am not okay with that. Um, once I end the local recording, um, uh, just to show off like this stuff, Luffy, I did say that I would play a bit of Beat Hazard, and we can have music back. <laughs> That's right, Poke. A visit from Farouk. Oh, what? 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 What are you doing? You're bad. Okay, I'll create a new capture window if you want to be stubborn like that. That is not how that was supposed to go. There we go. Uh, this game, uh... Displays its windowed resolution as 1280 by 800. I'm not broadcasting in that. I typically have whenever I play this game, but I just didn't feel like it because I didn't actually think I'd make a local recording for it. So, here we are. I know. Into the sea. Okay, let's go ahead and fail this event, everyone. And see what happens. And by the way, we'll just keep tax at 50%. I don't know if we could have bothered to change anything else. That's a good idea. What is it, General? Excellency, was... Yes, you captured a member of the suspected terrorist group. That's good. Share it with the people. Let them enjoy this wealth we found. For I am a benevolent ruler. I am forever kind. We shall restrict these imports. What do you want from me? Arrange a visit from the President of the United States. I'll get right on it. Gun ownership? Let's, let's make some money off of it. Speech. Speech. American pig dogs.
Eh. Again, I already talked about the American pig dogs earlier in this game. And it kind of it kind of keeps that information saved up. Let's keep moving. Minister died. Welp. <laughs> New communications minister. Hi. Excellency, I have just received word from the Ministry of Intelligence. They appear to have identified where the Basenji Liberation really? Center located. They wanted you to see this for yourself. Ha! Huh. We have Farouk in charge of intelligence. We're only paying state intelligence services five million a turn. And we figured out where the Basenji Liberation Front was anyway. Tell me, are they in the same nation? Yes. Basenji Liberation Front have released another video to the media. They have kidnapped a prominent fundamentalist clerk, cleric and are demanding $10 million for his life. Giving in to the demands will strengthen the terrorist organization and open Basenji to further demands. Refusing to negotiate will affect your relationship with Basenji's fundamentalists. We shall give in to their demands. Stupid players. We don't have time for you right now. Our deals have expired of exporting. Boost my popularity with liberals. Who has time for that? Excellent news! Have our accountants executed. The Central Liberation Front has released another video to the media. They describe themselves as a pro-democracy group whose attacks against our federal buildings will inspire the people of Basenji to overthrow us. But since the Intelligence Authority has learned all it can from the video, media wishes to broadcast it. Shall we allow them? Yes. Taking the mystery away from these cowards will undermine their support, surely. We've gone on strike. Bang. We shall conduct a review of the food safety standards. Oh, sad about me not bringing in the President of the United States. What a pity. You want me to increase liberal support? Also a pity. Hey, you bastards want to have your damn democracy? Do it without any money. <laughs> There we go, 1.6 billion in the Swiss bank account. I shall conscript. Standing military and all that. Your motorcade prepares to depart the royal palace, bound for an evening speaking engagement at the Sinji Entrepreneurs Society. Just outside the gates, two gunmen from the Basenji Liberation Front open fire on your bulletproof Cadillac Escalade. The bullet damage is superficial, but it slowed your vehicle sufficiently for them to place a bomb outside the rear passenger seat. Six weeks later, the terrorists get what they really want, free democratic elections. At least, that's what the people will be told. I don't think anyone's getting to that offshore bank account, folks. <laughs> I don't think anyone's getting to that offshore bank account. <laughs> okay. Uh, that explored the terrorist crisis, both success and failure to that. Uh, it doesn't seem like a very challenging event. Um, I, of course, had plenty of resources available at my disposal, uh, but even just not funding uh, 
My intelligence agency, more than the minimum of $5 million, with Farouk in charge of the intelligence minister, still got me the information I needed. Uh, and you don't really have to win a war against your opponent. If you have good relations with them, if you have enough loyalty points, you could just, like, get the Liberation Front out that way. Alternatively, like, all you have to do is just win one battle. Uh, I noted uh, my friend SKS uh, did encounter the scenario in his first playthrough a few days ago. It was by the skin of his teeth, but he managed to succeed and went on to win that playthrough as well. Uh, despite being in a pretty, like, dire situation without the perks that I had. For me, with, like, some experience point perks, just swept it away. Now, it's possible that this event was harder earlier on uh, in the game's history, but, it, like, that's only my second time ever encountering it. And the first time was, like... 36, 37 hours into playing the game and an endless mode thing. I've always seen the the financial thing or the epidemic thing. No, Tetsani, I did not. I uh, wasn't running more than $10 million on that. Uh, I ended up running like $35 million for like a turn. So there you go. We hope you enjoyed Rogue State. I did. I have put quite a bit of time into this one, and uh, it's certainly been a good and fun title. There's a few other things I have yet to see in this game, uh, but the game is thoroughly undocumented, and with as much randomness as there is in the game, I'm not quite sure, like, like stuff like really upsetting the military, for example, and seeing what would happen through there. I'm still looking for this situation where I can run the game as like a full-on dictator. Uh, uh, the endings have been colored in various different ways, but it's the good, the the endings where I win always end up being me being replaced by democracy. I've never held on to power, no matter how much wealth and power I've had. Anyway, that's all I was recording this for. So, local folks, bye.